So I'm going to press down and, well, you can see I already started moving this, but okay, I'm gonna try to, <laughs> try to do it as, with as less movement as possible. Okay, so here I go, I'm gonna click. Oh, dang it, I just did it again. All right, touches began and then still using the same finger, right? Let's try it one more time. Okay, so pressing down, all right, that's five. And then I'm gonna start moving it, okay. Now, let's do this. Press, and then I'm gonna press another time. I still, I still have uh, Option or Alt held down. And then, hey, look at that. So I'm using a different finger here, and that's why I'm not getting any feedback that says um, differently, okay. So you could actually go and, and then write this as, let's say, Alt. Um, well, there's a couple ways you could write. You, you could just go with Alt right here. Or you could say if touch ID equal, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, well, you can do it either way. You can say if touch ID is equal to touch point ID minus one, then that means must have another finger on there. Because remember, touch point ID is going to be one more than what this was, or what this got established to be back here. And let's just see if that works. I mean, it should. We're kind of going off my notes, right? <laughs> do, do, do. Okay, click down. And now let's uh, go with another finger. And, well, hold on a sec. Okay, click, click. All right. Yeah, so that is correct, right? Because we saw in there, it must have another finger. All right. And at least in our little uh, scenario here, the, this might actually make more sense if uh, you pulled this line out of here, uh, put it in here, and then uh, that way if it was some, some sort of like kids discovery type app, you, you know, they'd start to realize that, oh, wait a minute, when I have two fingers down, I get a, a different appearance. And the same thing could be true for um, throwing a, a third finger in here as well. So this one would be uh, minus two. Now let's put a little note here. This, this, um, means, Second finger is touching, and let's do the same thing over here. Um, now the thing is though too is you can't really test a third finger touching in uh, Device Central. Let's just put a little note here. It says um, or add. But um, since there's really not that much more to test here, let's go ahead and um, just play around with a bit more code uh, or something that uh, we haven't looked at. And that would be, let's check this out. I'm gonna put in here a trace statement. Ooh, let's do it not inside of the move one because that'll show up a lot. Let's just put it in the very beginning here. And I'll send this to the output window, which will be e.size x and Let's just put a little plus sign here. Um, size of the touch surface. Okay, if I could spell surface, there we go. <laughs> and uh, that will probably make a little bit more sense as soon as I pull up Device Central. Oh, and what did I do? I put in, yes. That would be how you spell size. The cool way to spell size would be with an X in there, but we'll, we'll go with the standard Z. Uh, anyway, this is uh, pretty much just the size of your, uh, your finger touching the surface, which is um, an interesting thing to think about. I'd never actually thought about that in terms of the iPhone. But they give you a way of testing this over here. So watch what happens if I bump this up to like 50 and then I press down over here. You'll notice I get uh, more of an elliptical shape instead of the perfect circle. Okay, if I go back to it, see that? And obviously you're seeing the difference up there as well. So like, let's pull this guy up to, so hmm, kind of interesting, huh? Let's go ahead and, oh, wait. There we go, 
was just testing out the uh, make sure that the zombie was going to frame two there. So um, there's that to consider, and uh, obviously you could do the same thing with the um, the Y as well. And who knows? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good scenario where you'd maybe code that in as an if statement. Um, hmm. Kind of means you have to be thinking about someone with maybe we weirdly shaped fingers, though, at the same time. So it might not be a <laughs> might not be universal accessibility there. <laughs> okay, let me just go ahead and paste in uh, a few more of these for us to look at. Uh, pressure is. Um, you guessed at how much pressure is uh, being applied to the uh, the touchscreen. If, um, of course, your touchscreen supports that uh, functionality, like I think I'm not sure if the iPhone um, does that currently. I believe it does, but it, like the first versions did not. Okay, uh, and then another thing here is uh, Alt key, and this will just be a true or false. Uh, so a boolean. Same with the Shift key if that is held down while you're um, touching the screen, and I, I think, well, obviously here when we are testing in Device Central, we, we need to hold down the Alt key to set those um, touch points just to begin with, and then the Shift if you want to move the two points simultaneously. But it'll be interesting to see what that Alt and Shift um, turns out to be in other devices, because obviously, like, the iPhone doesn't have um, an Alt or a Shift. And, I mean, I don't know, maybe they're expecting... Blackberry users to be I, I don't know I'm, uh, again see we'll see what that equates to on a dev device by device basis and then um, target um, we'll we'll see in a moment when we um, publish this what that uh, turns out to be it's you know generally it's going to be your your event target but um, at least when I was playing around here I noticed that it changes from movie clip to zombie so. And then uh, is primary touch point that that's one that could um, be quite useful and just to. Um, check to see if uh, if you are if that if that was your original finger that you touched down okay and let, let's oh, let's just start going through here all right so I've, I'm just holding down with one finger um, okay the uh, the pressure is at 0.5 so 50 percent uh, true for the alt held down and then uh, let's see object zombie 2 I'm not sure why the underscore 2 is in there it's just it's kind of I don't know. It's just not. It's not the instance name. Just remember that because the instance is just zombie. Uh, and then a true for is primary touch. Okay. Now what happens if I switch over here and set another one? Okay. Um, I'm still getting uh, true as the primary touch, but I believe if I start to hold down shift. Well, let's let's try it again. Okay. So now um, I've got both fingers held down and shift, and and so primary touch is being set to false. Um, obviously, the shift key being held down, that we got a true um, for that. Uh, otherwise, it, things are pretty much the same there. So, uh, about to be expected. It's just these are all various things that you can factor in uh, to what you're doing, or just consider. Huh, you know, I wonder how I could use that. Um, but again, it, so much of it comes down to uh, w what the device itself is um, capable of doing. Okay. Um, I think what we could do is probably take one last look at this and then switch over to talk about um, some of the other touch code and we'll do that in a new file. Okay, so I've saved this 